our adventure to the Mediterranean Sea is now getting closer. And we are done! But before we explore this region, we want to be sure that we are sufficiently protected from the sun. We have been told that the Mediterranean Sea can be terribly hot during summer months, especially when there is no wind. If you do not create enough shade on deck, we've got 33 degrees Celsius inside the boat. It is hot, hot, hot. You are forced to stay below, which is certainly no fun. Inside the boat, the temperature can easily rise to 35 degrees Celsius during hot days. That is why, in addition to a new spray hood, we also had a new sun cover made. What covers the entire window of the doghouse, which result in a huge temperature difference. What you often see are biminis to create shade on deck. I am not a big fan of these large wind catchers. If you find yourself in strong winds, you want to stay as streamlined as possible so that you have better control of your boat. We'll see what the future brings. Maybe I will change my mind later. After our arrival in Villa Mora in the previous episode, the finishing touches were put to our spray hood and now it was ready and the end result was impressive. Yeah, it's really nice, yeah. I'm happy. The mold is gone. It's a really cozy color. Much better than the white. It's a really a good upgrade. It's perfect here. <laughs> I'm a happy woman with new things. And if you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and so Project Spray Hood is done. So we are leaving Villa Mora. On to the next thing. And now we are going to Albufeira. We had our life raft inspected when we purchased our boat in 2019 and it remained valid until this spring. But at the last inspection we were told that it was the last time that this raft could be inspected. We've got mail! So we had decided to buy a new one. To order so that we no longer had to take this into account when we were somewhere in the Mediterranean. In the meantime, our new life raft had arrived in Albufera, so we had to go back there to install it. It's a hero! Okay, that's heavy. That's good for now. Eh? So today we are trying to get the new life raft on this uh, old frame. But of course it's not the same. So I have to make some adjustments to make it fit. Okay. After four years, the time has finally come. 
the start of the day. We are going to discover the Mediterranean Sea. But first, let's take the advantage of the luxury that comes with the marina for the last time. After a refreshing shower and a nice cup of coffee, it was time to return the key card. Oh, let's give back the card to them. We borrowed the card yesterday because I checked out already at the reception and then we didn't have a car to go out of the marina. So I borrowed it from Benno and Ivonne. Now I'm gonna return it, but they are still asleep. Before we cast off, we always follow the same procedure. First close all the hatches, check the oil of the sail drive and the engine, turn on all electrical systems, check the bilge again. There's a little bit of water in the bilge and I think I have a small leak. When I'm filling up the water tank and I fill it up until the top of the, of the hose then I think there's a small leak because yesterday it was completely dry and then I filled the tanks. Now I've got some water in the bilge. So that's something I have to I have to look at when I've got some spare time. And then we are ready to leave. Time Karen is stowing everything away. Coffee maker making some tea for on the way. That's always nice. Huh? Yeah, we always like a cup of tea when we are at sea. Time to say farewell. Everybody say goodbye to us. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Enjoy South America. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So that was Albufeira. Yeah. We had many good days here. Many good times. Nice people. We're probably gonna see some of them in the Met, maybe this summer. And the wind picked up a little bit. We are having 7.1 knots of uh, true wind, and we are doing how much? 4.7 4 knots of speed over ground. So that's not so bad at all. I have full sail. So the Genoa is out. It's 
stay sail is out and the main is out. Smooth sailing. We left one hour ago. We are now passing Cartera. We still have to go 50 nautical miles to the entrance of Colatra. So a few hours and we are already there. So we arrived perfectly on time, one hour before high tide. So uh, as you can see, you have to be careful in this uh, entrance because we are now still one hour before high tide. And if you see how much current is coming in, can see this on camera but we are almost moving sidewalk today we are the 22nd of March and we are heading for Ayamonte Spain the friends of ours Cose Jose with who we said goodbye two weeks ago are still there so we are going to meet them, spend a few days with them and then we're gonna have to say goodbye for a long time this time so let's go a lot of mud on the anchor <laughs> yeah. and we are at the entrance of Ayamonte and also here you have to be very careful with the tidal stream because this can also run up to a few knots you have to be certain that you stay in line with the buoys because the current takes you aside and then you are out of track before you know it and you are stuck in the mud And as soon as we were docked, our Dutch friends came to welcome us. Even though it wasn't that long ago, we were still happy to see each other again. We agreed to have our gas bottle filled the next morning. In Portugal, it is becoming increasingly difficult to have this done. But here in Ayamonte, there is a gas station where they do this. Job of today, refilling our gas bottles. That's always an adventure, but here in Ayamonte there's a gas station where they do this. So uh, Karen has been to the tourist office to get a map to ask where this refill gas station is. And it's all the way here, so it's a 35 minute walk. So let's get started, because they close at 2 p.m. Lucky we have a trolley! You can always rely on Google Maps. We're almost at the 
gas station. In Spanish, they call it filar, so we have to remember that. Filar la botella. The next morning, Coz and José left for Portugal. This time, we won't see each other for a long time. And we wave and wave. And they are off. And not much later, it was our turn. Bye bye, Ayamonte. Yeah, and we are heading to uh, El Rompido. Because we have still have a few days before our niece is coming to uh, Sevilla. So uh, it's only from here a two or three day trip and uh, so we are anchoring for a few days in El, El Rompido because we still have the time and we are leaving these clouds behind and we are heading to summer. Because Kos and José had told us that it was quite a hassle to sail to Sevilla itself because of the opening hours of the lock and that we would waste at least two days sailing up and down the river, we decided to sail to Cadiz and from there to take the train to Sevilla to pick up our lease. And we are just gliding along the coastline. We have 6.4 knots of wind. We are doing 4.4 knots over ground, flat seas, and we are all alone. We are now at the entrance of El Rompido. But we have to be careful here because it's very shallow. You have to go between two sandbanks. And uh, yeah, you just have to be careful here. This is our first buoy. We have to follow. And then we must stay between the red and the green boys and then we should be fine. I've touched the ground. I think we're a little bit too soon after low tide because we are stuck. So I'm gonna Throw the Genoa in and just wait a little bit. Normally it should be okay, but yeah. the Genoa in now I'm starting the engine and try to go backwards a little bit and just wait one more hour before we go in
years old. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh... It was too soon. The problem is the sandbanks were always changing position, and normally they should remove the buoys also, but. Uh, Probably they don't do it very often, so uh, we're gonna wait at least one more hour. At the emergency center at Welva, they apparently noticed my strange maneuvers. Yes, Missy, Missy, this is Madame Search and Rescue Welva. Good afternoon. Uh, are you uh, in risk Are you any problem? Do you have any problem on board? No, we, I just want to enter uh, to El Rompido, but it was a little too soon after low tide and I couldn't get in, so I'm back out uh, at sea now and waiting for uh, more water under the keel. Over. All understood, uh, Missy. Thank you for your uh, information. Uh, please uh, uh, good day. Uh, back to one five, one six. Okay, thank you. Stand by at 1-6. Over. <laughs> They've seen me struggling. <laughs> the second attempt. Yeah. As long as we go with the flow, we're okay. <laughs> but as you can see on the left side over here, all these uh, waves are breaking on the sandbank, so uh, we don't have much space here. But now we are doing fine. Tonight we spend our first night here in the beautiful anchorage El Rompido. We had a good night of sleep. Our anchor kept well because I was a little bit worried because there's quite some current here in this part of the river. But uh, between the river and the sea there's a piece of land so this part of the river is very well protected. So many small boats can enjoy sailing here without having big swells or uh, big waves. What I like about anchoring is that we have to go ashore with the dinghy and that's always a bit of an adventure. So today we are going to the old town of El Rompido and let's see how it looks over there. doing illegal things. Now that's 
the pontoon for the taxi boats. <laughs> Today they are closed, so we are good. I don't think we're gonna get fuel over here. It's not an urgency yet. No, no, we can wait until caddies. It was Sunday and you could tell. The Spaniards have a good habit of spending time with the family on Sundays. It was pleasantly busy everywhere. The people enjoyed good food and drinks in each other and of course seeing food means eating. Let's try some local food. Good? They're very good, yeah. Okay guys, we're cooking dinner right now, but after dinner I have to reset the anchor because uh, yesterday everything was okay, but uh, the wind picked up today to gusts of 25 knots and I've got the impression that I am dragging a little bit because in the meantime I'm almost in the middle of the river, so uh, let's do it again in a bit. And this is what it's all about. Discover new places, make new friends, not in the traditional way, but in our own floating house, the Missy. Led by the wind, with a clear goal, but without a strict plan. Love it. Next time at the Missy. We stay a few more days at the anchorage in El Rompido, until the sea calms down a bit, and in the meantime, we visit the Marismas del Rio Piedras Natural Park. Feels good eh, on your feet. No, I don't like it. <laughs> then it is time to head towards Cadiz via a stopover in Rota. In Cadiz, we pick up our niece who comes sailing with us for a week. 18.9 degrees. That's not warm, eh, Terrence? No, it's not. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like it, Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. It's nice to hear what you think of it so far. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We really appreciate this. See you next time guys. Bye.